Good evening to you. Just 24 hours ago, Purdue and head coach Matt Painter enjoying a fifth straight win over IU tonight. They're already on to the next thing, as they've done all season long. A lot of roles now on a roll in tonight's Sports Extra Spotlight. The scenics haven't changed this season around Mackey Arena, but the feel around here certainly has. And here on Gene Cady Court, a chance to catch up with Matt Painter now in his 14th season after Gene's retirement. Clearly, you're a better coach now than you were two months ago, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> no question. When the ball goes in, you're a much better coach. It wasn't that long ago when Painters Purdue lost five of seven, but it might as well be ancient history now as a young team grown up quickly. Well, we have good guys, and so everybody's kind of realized it, and it's not that big of a, of a thing for them just to be able to accept a role, buy into that role, you know, do the little things. And when you come out, it, it's not that big a deal. Like, you know, just cheer for your teammates, be ready to play when your number gets called. The change didn't begin here. Began in here, their state-of-the-art practice facility, a balance of teaching and tough work. The stuff Ryan Klein's heard of, his dad played at Ohio State back in the mid-70s. When you say there are a couple of tough practices around Christmas time, what, how tough are they? I, I mean, I wouldn't say, like, gut-wrenching. Like but throwing up with the sign line no, is tough. Yeah, but. yeah not, not quite like that. <laughs> my, my dad told me a couple of those stories back in his day. He's the ref, so... If you can imagine that, you know, there's not many rules. Um, uh -huh. I like it, though, because I think it plays in my favor, you know, being able to scrap and uh, not too many fouls are called. Last year we had a team, and this is what I've tried to get towards, is getting guys that understand the game, getting guys that are competitive. So as they grow in your program and they get older, they coach the team. Yeah. You know, you, you find any really good team and you have older guys on it, they coach the team. It doesn't mean you don't interject and talk about things, but it, you have that back and forth. As a result, that old familiar feeling is back in what many are calling Painter's finest coaching job in his 14 seasons, at least his finest so far. Personally, do you feel satisfaction in a season like this? If it continues. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Yeah, yeah, so like it's, you know, you just move to the next game. Like you really don't get any satisfaction. Um, like you, you beat Indiana or you beat Michigan State or you beat Penn State and it's good. Like the bus ride's cool and, and then when the, you wake up the next day it starts over and you don't, you don't think about it. Yeah. Um, but you do think about it if you lose. Haven't done a lot of that lately. Pater, by the way, coaching his 500th game last night and moving up the charts in the all-time wins list in the Big Ten. Just two behind Harry Combs for 10th place. Remember, Bob Knight has the most. Gene Cady, second.